you can never predict who will become friends. And it's not always loneliness that draws animals together. It's late spring in Lancashire, northwest England. On Gaysgill Organic Farm, 10-year-old Hamish, the Hampshire Down Ram, has it all. High quality grass, the pick of over a hundred females, and dozens of lambs that prove he's the main ram. He's a model father. For three months, he's been doing his duty and standing guard in the sheep pasture, protecting his lambs from the local foxes. But Hamish leads a double life. And this time of year is when he turns away from his ewes. To a group of females he simply can't resist. Farmer Emma Robinson has brought her shorthorn dairy herd to the sheep pastures for a change of scene. And for the last four years, each time it happens, Hamish forgets he's a family ram and explores his inner cow. Hamish is he's on his way down to meet the ladies now. As soon as they come in, they're, they're my girls, the back, they've come for me. <laughs> it's brilliant. We will have a very happy sheep. Hamish spends the day hanging out with his girls, enjoying their company and sharing the lush pasture. Much to the bemusement of Emma's partner, Ian O'Reilly. I think Hamish wanting to spend time with cows is, is not quite normal. <laughs> One night he just appeared with them. No idea why. Just suddenly decided what, what was his epiphany, I don't know. I think other farmers think I'm crackers, but I actually allow Hamish to hang out with the dairy herd, but it makes him happy. Hamish's affection for the cows is a mystery, but just as strange is why they enjoy hanging out with him. Perhaps he's simply charmed the right cow. Hyacinth is our matriarch. If you make friends with Hyacinth, all of the herd are then friends with you. It's a good thing. Hyacinth loves him, yeah. She thinks he's ace. She enjoys having him now. They seem to spend a lot of time together. It's not just the boss who's succumbed to Hamish's charm. The older girls in the herd are his best friends. They're kind to each other and they yeah. sit with each other and they eat together. It's nice to watch. <laughs> Today has been Hamish's perfect day. But it's 4.30 p.m. Come on, girls! Time for the ladies to leave the sheep pasture and head to the parlour for milking. But Hamish isn't ready for goodbyes. And this is where the unusual friendship takes an even weirder turn. Instead of staying home with his family, Hamish joins the dairy herd. Hamish is here, he's working his way through. It'll be one of the first cows out. Cows, sheep. <laughs> Now he's left the sheep pastures, Hamish is likely to stay with the herd for the rest of the summer. Come on, girls. He quickly claims his preferred place in the group. Somewhere. He's at the head of the herd. Yeah, he's normally at the front somewhere. He has a, an important strut as well. But it's a mile to the milking parlour and a lot further than he would normally walk. He's only got little short sheep legs and he's striding out with the cows. What and a he's... weight to carry. His tummy does wobble a little as he's running along. I think the exercise does him good. He'll walk miles pretty much every day for the rest of the summer. He'll be walking all over the place with the girls. Oh, come on. 
even when they get to the milk parlour. Mm. Hamish refuses to be separated from the ladies. But if it's the post-milking snacks he's after, he's out of luck. There's no reward for Hamish. I'm a bit mean. He comes in and he stands here because the cows stand here. But I don't feed him. So if it's not about food, then what's in it for him? There's more interaction with the cows. They go all over the place. The day is a bit more interesting than the day with the sheep. It's more fun, he sees more, more happens. We have a roof over the head in winter. Uh, that's probably features quite high, aren't it? It's a nice warm bed. It's just clever. He's worked it out. Hamish certainly milks his life as a cow. I think he thinks he's a cow. Maybe. Maybe he thinks they're just big sheep. <laughs> We're just going to end up with woolly calves. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's bonkers, but he's only happy when he is with them. He seems a little stressed when he's anywhere else, so... If he's happy, we're all happy, and that's how I like to run my farm. If my animals are happy, everything's all right. Hamish is lucky. He's been allowed to follow his herd, and maybe his heart.